You're gonna be blown away by this. This really is mind blowing. What if there was a super easy, magical way to create videos directly from within ChatGPT itself? Simply by providing a prompt. But not just that, you wouldn't have to do any of the heavy lifting. You would get a complete video, an engaging script, background music, subtitles, super relevant footage, and a realistic human sounding voiceover. This is amazing. Well, guess what? You can. You can now create videos directly within ChatGPT GPT by one of the most impressive GPTs I've seen to date. And I've seen a ton of them. The GPT is Video Maker by NVIDIA AI. It's this simple. All you need to do is type in the idea of your video. And just like that, Video Maker will generate a ready to publish video just for you with all the bells and whistles included. But it gets even better. And it's all done with leveraging the power of AI. So in this video and with the links in my description, make sure to check the links in the description for tons of resources and hundreds of prompts to try. You'll find some very good prompts that you can use and try for yourself. So first, let me show you exactly how to find it. You're going to open up ChatGPT and go over to the GPT store or over here on the left hand side where it says explore GPTs. All you have to do now is in this search bar, just type up video maker. And once you type in video maker, make sure it's this one right here that says video maker by NVIDIA AI. And you can also go directly to this page simply by just clicking the link on my page right here. I'll also include a link in my description. So one quick caveat, you will actually need to have access to GPT-4. But if you don't have a paid plan, make sure you watch this video first because it might just be the deciding factor for you to sign up for one. It's that good of a tool. You can also sign up for a free in video account. That way you can preview all of the videos you actually generate. However, if you are serious about AI video creation and want to publish videos without a watermark, which I actually recommend, you can upgrade which starts at only $20 a month. So the first thing we'll do is explore how easy and simple this process is. Okay, so what we're going to do is head over to my mega prompts database. And now if you have access to this database, you'll see I had to add a whole new section or a whole new tab up here at the top. But if you don't have access to this mega prompts database, I'll also put a link in my description. That way you can get access to it yourself. And then over here are all of the new ones I'm creating specifically for in video AI. So let's go ahead and then start with the first one. It's going to be a pretty Pretty simple one to start, but nevertheless very impressive. And I'm simply going to paste it in. Create a YouTube short on the emergence of AI technology and the potential of the future. Make it fun and exciting and use a female friendly American voice. Just simply select confirm. That way you're given in video AI access to your chat GPT. And then here we go. It starts the process almost immediately. Okay. Now once it's done, it says watch the video here. All you have to do now is just simply click here. And now we've been redirected to an in video AI. AI workspace. And this is where things really start to get impressive. We're going to wait a couple of minutes and then we're going to jump right into this magic. But first, let me give you a quick preview of what this made for me a little bit earlier today. Picture this. A world where machines think, learn, and adapt, just like us. Welcome to the universe of artificial intelligence. Okay, now NVIDIA AI is done. Now let's first preview this video that NVIDIA AI made for us. In a blink, we've journeyed from punch card computers to artificial intelligence. Can you believe it? In the late 40s, the first programmable computer, ENIAC, was born. Fast forward to the 80s, and we've got AI making waves in the chess world. Now, we're living with AI. Your friendly virtual assistant, AI. The self-driving car you spotted on the street, AI again. That was impressive. If you notice in the video, it got everything perfectly right that we requested. Now let me show you all of these awesome options that we have directly at our fingertips. Now if you like the video, all you have to do is simply select on the bottom right hand corner this export button and then you can just simply export the video. Now if your video needs a few changes, it's never been more simple and this is all done with the power of AI. So I'm back over here in chat GPT. Let's go ahead and then go to the next prompt. We're going to be making a YouTube short short for tips on how to improve your charisma. Now, before we do that, let me show you something very quickly that impresses me every time I use it. If you wanted to create a video from scratch, you can also do that over here within NVIDIA AI's workspace. Up here at the top, you can select your workflow. Notice that we already have a few options to choose from. YouTube Shorts, YouTube Explainer, Recent Events Video, and then Script to Video. The Recent Events Video is pretty cool because what you can do is you could tell NVIDIA AI to create a video or YouTube short based off of recent events. And then right here in this pop-up box, 
just type in what you want. It says, give me an engaging topic about something that happened recently. And then here is where we can adjust our settings. So we have a male or female voice, and then we could select the style and characteristics. And then from there, we could choose to add subtitles and then what kind of subtitles we actually want. So nonetheless, let's go back over to GPT and now type in our next prompt. Here is our next prompt. Create a YouTube short on how to improve your charisma. Provide the top qualities on charisma, facts, and real examples. Make it powerful and motivating. Include vivid and creative examples to illustrate your points. Use a motivational male American voice and add subtitles. Okay, here we go. You can see it. It's getting to work right away. And then again, it says, watch the video here. So after I click the link, I'm over here back in this workspace. And then you can see it's starting the analyzing process. Again, give it a few minutes. By using the power and leveraging AI, it's almost like a too good to be true scenario because I can just simply provide a command and then in video is going to automatically make those changes for me. So in this next video, that's where I'm going to show you some mind blowing and powerful adjustments and edits that you can make. Okay, here we go. It's done. Again, this took less than two and a half minutes. Charisma. It's that magnetic appeal. It's not just about being charming or likable. Charisma is powerful. It builds bridges, opens doors, and can even make dreams come true. So how can you boost your charisma? Okay, we'll pause it there. It did get it perfectly right. But watch the magic of AI and exactly what we do next. Notice this prompt box right here. And this is going to be one of the easiest things that you could do. So let's just say for an example, we want to change the voiceover. Notice the first voice was exactly what we requested. It was a male voice, motivated and friendly. But watch this. Let's just say we didn't like the voice and we had a change of heart. And now this time, we want a female voice. Simple. All you have to do is just type in your request. I said, please change the voice to a British woman, motivated and friendly. Now, all you have to do is literally one click, hit generate, and almost instantly, it's going to completely change the voiceover to exactly what we just requested. Catch this. Charisma. It's that magnetic appeal, the irresistible aura that some people have. It's not just about being charming or likable. Charisma is powerful. Okay, perfect. That's exactly the type of voice that we were looking for. I actually do like this one a little bit better, but let's not stop here. Let's just say we wanted to change the media up. Watch this. Now let's go back over here and I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first method is I'm going to select this edit button. The edit button will pop up and it's going to give me this timeline of all my images and my script. Let's just say for an example, I really don't like this second video right here. Okay. Here's what we can do. We can either use this search bar and then type in the exact sort of image that we're looking for, or we can actually upload our own image. If you want to do that, just select this upload media button and it's going to open up with all of your own personal files. I did that and I selected this image right here. So I'm going to select this one I want. This blue line will surround the box scene that you have selected. And now I'm going to select this own image that I have from my downloads folder. I'll now select apply changes, give it a few minutes. It's going to change that video to now my own personal custom one. Charisma. It's that magnetic appeal the irresistible aura that some people have. That was actually perfect timing. So I like the way that worked out. The other thing you can do is instead of uploading your media, we talked about this search bar and I'm going to type in just strong person. Okay. And I'll hit enter. Now immediately you could see it's starting to populate images or videos based off of strong person. And let's just say we like one of these. Okay. I'm going to select the one of this woman right here, raising her hand in the air. And now let's see if it changed it. Catch this charisma. It's that magnetic appeal, the irresistible aura that some people have. It's not just about being charming. Or there we go. Charisma is powerful. It builds. Okay, perfect. I have two new images in there. One was my own. And then the other one I searched for in their massive amount of stock footage. Now, the other thing you can do again is leverage the power of AI. So let's come back over here into this timeline. And now let's say, for example, we don't like the first media scene. So as I click on each one of these, you could see it's going to tell me chapter and then media. If I hit the next one, I'm on media four. The first one is media one. So keep that in mind. We're on chapter one, media one. This would be media two. So I'm going to select media one. Now let's go ahead and then make the change with AI. So I'll just say, please replace scene one media one with a different video. You could see it did that. So now we have the very first scene media one completely different. Charisma. It's that magnetic appeal the irresistible aura that some people have. So that's where this powerful AI prompt bar can come in so handy. Literally anything that you type, 
it's going to take your command and it's going to do exactly what you were looking for. The next thing we can do is we can actually go from edit media to edit script. If I select edit script, it basically gives me the whole entire script. I can come in here and I can change any of the wording up. If I don't like the wording, let's just say for an example, I wanted to take out Oprah and replace it with another charismatic character, like a John Hamm, we can do something like that. And now another few creative things that you can do in these scripts, here are three others. You can even say things like, change the intro and start with a joke. Or add a CTA at the end, a call to action, to ask viewers to subscribe to my channel. Or make the background music a little bit louder. Or make the voiceover a little bit softer. All of these requests and adjustments can be done directly within that AI prompt bar. Now let's wrap it up by providing NVIDIA AI with a very powerful prompt. The one I was talking about earlier where it's going to create a video based off of a URL. So what I'll do is I found a blog post actually on NVIDIA's page and it's called how to start a faceless YouTube channel with AI. So what we want to do next is just simply copy the actual URL you want to make a video based off of. Now keep in mind, a lot of the content we're creating today is for YouTube Shorts, but it doesn't have to just be for YouTube Shorts. Let's make a long form video. Instead of saying YouTube Shorts, I'll just say a YouTube video. Create a video for YouTube. Start the video by introducing the topic and use the title as the intro text. Then provide five tips and then illustrate each with relevant stock clips. And then I have my voice right here, the one I have selected. And then also now there is the link that I have from the blog post. Pick points from this article and now here's the link. So you can see it said it was doing research with Bing and now I've gathered the insights. It's going to give me a summary of the video it's going to actually create. How to create a faceless YouTube channel has been created. Let's go ahead and then select it. Welcome to our YouTube video on the concept of a faceless YouTube channel. In this video, we'll explore how creators can share content without showing their face, using techniques like voiceovers, animations, and graphics. Tip number one, selecting a niche. It's important to choose a specific topic or theme for your channel. This will help you attract a targeted audience and establish yourself as an expert in that area. Tip number two, creating a content strategy. It's important to optimize your videos for search engines. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks. And then there you go, perfectly done. Something in the past that would have taken days or even weeks to do can now be done in just a matter of a few minutes. So everything that we're doing today, everything that you see being done today is also possible on the iPhone app. Same AI technology and you're creating amazing videos with Video Maker by NVIDIA AI. So let me know what you guys think. Try it for yourself. I know that you'll be incredibly impressed just as I was. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Sure,